Yeah. Yep. 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 Look at this fabric. So I'm deciding I'm gonna make a video about this because this is legit a trial and error type of um, accomplishment. So I just went to Home Depot and I got myself some $1 one by two inch wood, but it's actually one by one and a half, which is exactly what I need for a gallery size painting. So I also have no equipment. So I decided I was going to figure out how to do it without any equipment because I couldn't find a single video on that. So here is this little tool, I don't even, saw box? Uh, um, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's literally just a box that you stick your piece of wood in. Then you decide, okay, I want to make my little wood nice and secure so you take these little things stick them in the closest one turn it and then boom you get some sturdy solid wood then you take your lovely little saw here and you go in whichever angle that you want i am using the 45. i'm gonna measure it out and take you along on the journey with me Last time I filmed, I had just finished cutting these. Well, my dad and I tried to put them together by screwing in holes and then putting glue on them and then drilling the screws in, but the glue made it really slippery and so it didn't line up. And when we got it all together, it was kind of janky. So I tried to disassemble it and re put them together and ended up like busting the like wood piece on the end here. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna cut them down to do 18 by 18. We were doing 20 by 20 and that's what the canvas was gonna be, 20 by 20. So now we're doing 18 by 18 and I'm in the process of cutting them down again. So pray for me because <laughs> the arm strength on this one guys, it's gonna be a lot. Here we go. <laughs> I ended up cutting it a little bit too small, so it's like 17 and like 14th, 16th, or uh, 7 eighths. So we're gonna have to do that on all of them, but I think that'll work as well. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, so I cut them all and I just glued them all down. Uh, let me show you. So I kind of did this corner first and then I did this corner and then I did glue on both sides and put that piece in so it all fits in. This is the kind of glue that I'm using. It was like five bucks, six bucks, something like that. This is, <laughs> I, I don't have anything that's a right angle. So this is what I was checking 
just to make sure it was all nice and straight on those edges. And then I also have my measuring tape here. And so I'm looking at, I was looking at like 17 and like seven eighths, this like line right here. And just lining that up and making sure it's about the same all the way across. And with the glue, it's changed it to like 18th and like 15 or 17 and 15 16 which is perfect because then it's more closer to 18th anyways um but hopefully sets and then um tomorrow we're gonna try to screw it in and make sure it's all nice and sturdy um but we tried it while the glue was wet last time i think i already said this but it just like made it all janky and i think i had some of the measurements wrong because when i was recutting the wood like it was like some was like a little bit higher or a little bit more than the other ones so i think i cut them a little bit wrong last time so this time i made sure each of them are the exactly the same length and it does look like a square now so so i'm actually like really happy with it so this is it so far i'm gonna let it sit overnight i don't have any clamps or anything clamps are only like five dollars so i could get clamps but I think this is gonna work. So I'll give you an update tomorrow. So update, we're about to drill in. This is my dad. He's got a drill. Um, but it's glued to the floor. So <laughs> we're gonna try to just drill it because you know, it's nice and secure so you can drill it down. Um, but uh, we'll update you on how we actually get it up because. <laughs> well, at least it's, yeah, it's really sturdy. I'll try one at a time. Okay. I'll try to drill this time. Oh, yeah, that's secure. Now to figure out how to pop it up. Oh, yeah, I feel like if we just put it on the blanket, I might be able to tear it up easier. Those are your options. Oh, I don't know. This is probably the best one. I think you'll break those. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. Wow, that was easy. Okay, cool. We did it. We got the nails in. It's nice and it's like super solid. Like I feel like like. Anyways, um, the other day I bought this giant roll of fabric because um, from Joann's because they had a sale, um, and basically it was the untreated uh, fabric. I don't remember exactly what it's called. I'll put it up right here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, but anyways, it's massive. It's like six feet long but i could be wrong definitely not six feet because my arms cannot be six it's probably four feet it's probably four feet long and i got four uh rolls of it for all of this for about 20 bucks but it was on sale it was from joanne's but it was like half off which was like insane that was not as satisfying as i wanted it to be look at this so cute. Yeah. Yep. 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 Look at this fabric. So now that I have it all marked up about two inches out. I'm just going to go ahead and cut out the fabric a little bit outside the lines that I had just for safety. I'm going to sit it back in the middle. 
Let's just make sure it comes up on every side. That side was a little extra, so maybe I can move it just a little that way. <laughs> That's why it's gonna be kind of pushing it a little bit. I think it'll be good. Okay, so then what everyone else tells me to do is everything I've watched online is you pull it up and you staple one side and then you immediately flip it over and staple the same mark on the other side. Pull it as tight as you can. And you staple that in. And then some people bring a hammer and like nail it in a little bit extra. But I do have some screwdrivers. They work just as well. Okay, I am also going to start doing the other side. I don't know. I just feel like this makes me nervous. So I want to pull it. Maybe it'll be fine. I don't know. Okay. For the heck of it, while those ones are there, I'm just gonna also pull the sides. That way I know these are good. Okay, 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 hold on. I gotta bring you in closer. So basically, I have secured all of that fabric here so it's nice and tight on the edge. And then I secured all the fabric on this side so it's nice and tight on the edge. And I'm trying to pull them over the nails. So this is the nail. So I wanna pull the fabric so it goes over the top of the nail. I'm gonna pull it down like that and secure it like there. And then when I have that, I can fold it easier. Got all these loose strings, I'll cut those later. But I wanna make sure this corner is like super tight. So I'm pulling that really tight there. And then I'm stapling that down on both sides. All of them are nice and secure. There she is! Look at her in her beauty. I'm so excited to just over. Okay, so I just cleaned up all of the trash and staples and everything that was on the floor. And this is our cat! I'm so excited! So now we're gonna go ahead and just put uh, gesso on it. Now, I've seen other artists on YouTube put like a jelly substance after they do this. If any of you know anything about that, <laughs> let me know because I have no idea. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and just gesso the whole thing. And then maybe I will do this twice. I don't know. Um, I might sand it down a little bit. Look, it's like a drum. It's so fun. Here we go. You know what I should have done before I did this? 
I should have dusted it off because I see a hair already. Don't wanna get just so on your clothes because just so doesn't come off your clothes. Oh no. I will let this dry completely and then just do it all again. But those sides will only get two coatings and then the top, <gasps> it's falling off the counter. Oh my God. The top will get three. See, this is why I think they use the jelly stuff. I don't know what the jelly stuff does, but I'm pretty sure it makes it so you don't have to do as many gesso coats. But maybe I just have crappy gesso. What gesso do you guys use? Let me know in the comments below because I don't know what to use. I just go to Hobby Lobby and I really feel like that's like a big no-no in artist people They don't like Hobby Lobby, but I love Hobby Lobby because Hobby Lobby is where I like first got all my painting stuff. So Give me a shout out. What do you guys use to gesso? What do you guys use to prime? Do you prime and gesso or do you just straight up gesso four times like I'm gonna do? I hope this video helped. I hope you guys um, make your own canvases at home. Tell me what you guys do. Let me know if you have any fun, like different things that you do to make canvases. I know most of you who are probably watching this are like, I just wanna learn for the first time so I have no idea. But let me know if you've watched any other videos that you're like, oh, this was better. You should try this. Because I watched like 17 when I was trying to do this. So I would love to hear your input. Anyways, go have fun painting. Or I guess building. This is not really painting. Building your canvases.